Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to work on writing a rational expression in lowest terms. And this is a very interesting example. Most of the time when we write a rational expression in lowest terms, we're looking for common factors in the top and in the bottom to cancel out. All right, so when I'm looking at this one, I look at the bottom and I say, you know what? It looks like I can factor out a 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, after factoring it out, I end up with this piece, w minus 4. And that looks pretty close to 4 minus w, but it's not the same, so I can't cancel it out just yet. One thing you want to notice is that right now my w is positive in the bottom, but it's negative up top. The 4 is negative in the bottom and positive in the top. So actually, they're almost the same, but the signs are different. So in addition to, say, factoring out that 2, let's also take out a negative. Okay, that would make my 2 negative. Give us a negative w plus 4. And let's see why this is really okay. So let's double check this by multiplying it back in. So negative 2 times a negative w gives us a positive 2w. Yep, that's what we originally started with. Negative 2 times 4, that's negative 8. Yep, that's what we originally started with, so I haven't really changed anything. But now I have this minus w and a positive 4, just like the top. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and take that bottom and just reverse the order that it's written. So I put the negative w second and the positive 4 first. Now you can see that the piece in the top and the piece in the bottom, those factors, are exactly the same. So let's go ahead and cancel them out. This will leave us with a final answer of a negative one-half. If you'd like to see more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.